Example 1. Here are two projects with interfaces that were created via text editor without the NetBeans design view. Exhibit A is an arcade game called Poly Madness. No swing components and no NetBeans. Let's take a look at some interfaces. Uh, first, two that were not built with NetBeans. These were just like built with a text editor. So they don't really have the XML and the code necessary to manage them with the graphical form designer. Now, this one, NetBeans wouldn't have really helped. It's just an arcade game and there's no real need for any kind of a graphical interface designer. We're just drawing polygons and doing different things with them on the screen. And let's see. I'll do this. All right, so there, there's no real graphical, you know, we're just, even if I did this, if I chose, um, if I do that, even if I do this, it's, you know, it's just using draw polygon to draw some things on the screen. And I'm using draw string, but I have to change the background back to, uh, let me change it to green here. You'll be able to see. Nah, you can't really see that. Let me change the background again. Background color will go to back to black. But these are just draw strings, so I don't really need a graphical form designer, okay? And this game, All right? That was just a little fun game um, when I was you know, trying to learn some of the Java graphics functions and things. That... Exhibit B: RPG game Mutant Wars uses swing components, but designed without NetBeans. To take a look at another project that was created without the NetBeans form designer, here's one called Mutant Wars. And it does extend the J applet, implements all these interfaces. But this was done in a simple text editor, not NetBeans, so it lacks the XML file. Notice there's no design view over here. That's a big handicap. Um, here's what it looks like if I run it. And it runs embedded in a web page. It's just sort of a little simple RPG game, you know, slash tutorial or whatever. Um, but for this simple interface, it took me a long time, like days, just to get the components on like I wanted, J combo boxes and J list controls and radio buttons and the menu and all. Had I have done that in NetBeans, it would have been a big time saver. And uh, here, another thing, from the command prompt, I had to use the jar tool to compress everything into an archive. And then I had to, let me see, we'll go to the website here. Then I had to use the jar signer tool to sign it with a certificate because, you know, by default, Java disables um, local file access on the system. And I'm only doing that, you know, so that you can save files, save game files and, and character files and load game files. But notice because it's signed, it asks me here, I'm going to have to click on OK. All right, when I do, I'm giving it permission to save game files to my machine, and then it loads up here. And I can click on Start. Please enter a name for your character in the input field above. Click the Go button to continue. All right, so that is go. an admirable and honorable name. Welcome to Mutant War. All right, I'll just turn narration off there. And yeah, it starts some music. I'll turn the music off too, right? And then I'm just gonna go down and activate a cheat real quick to. All right, it's so activated a cheat, and I'm gonna go back up. That'll display the level map Morning. here. And I can walk through level one map here in Java. You can see the map file there, tracking the player as he goes. Those are my inventory items and so forth. But just just a, a simple interface design game. But you know, again, without an an integrated development environment that gives you a graphical interface designer, that can take a long time. Just doing that in a text editor. Now we arrive at example two. Here are some projects with interfaces that were created with the NetBeans Design View tool. Exhibit A is the RPG game Pirate Arena. Using swing components with multiple JFrame and JAPLA interfaces, all interfaces except one were created with the NetBeans Design View tool. Now, here's a project that I did create with NetBeans using the GUI form designer. And it's split up into packages, which is really easy to do with NetBeans. And if I go through, um, you know, specifically, this is just you know a class hierarchy, an inheritance hierarchy of different objects. Um, some game you know function classes or helper functions. Here's a level in this case level one class I'm working on. But specifically, this is what we made with the NetBeans you know graphical uh, interface design tool. 
And all these are JFrames I generated with that tool. And this is a J applet. And the splash screen, it starts out, this is just a J applet. Okay, and it looks like so. It's just two buttons on it. And it uses a label in the background for the background image. And then from there, it launches the this J frame here. And all these were done in NetBeans, but so that's the main form. It didn't take me long to drag and drop all the swing components on there and line them up using the graphical designer tool. It wrote all the code, and then I, you know, I just went in and supplied the code that I, you know, what code was necessary. With my interface is like setting up my audio clips for multimedia and graphics and things, and drawing out the map. I had had to throw in some, you know, functions here on my paint method and draw in the player position and draw in the map out. Fill rectangle, draw a line, fill oval, that kind of thing. Fill polygon, whatever. Draw polygon. But you know, the the hard part, adding the swing components, laying things out, that NetBeans did for me. Now, yeah, you're still gonna have to code you know graphics functions and things that you need but man what a time saver you know, imagine doing all all of that having to do your basic layout for a j frame or a j applet in notepad it's it's not the quickest way to do things so. and let's see here is friend frame and this is you know this displays when you meet characters in the game that are friends this is a foe frame or opponent frame and that's when you meet characters that are foes um this is a by frame just all these again were generated in NetBeans, a cell frame to sell products. Um, here is this this here fancy dialog. I didn't like the the J option pane show input dialog. It's it doesn't give you a whole lot of options. I tried various options for trying to color the background and do things, but I, I couldn't find what I like. So I just created my own J frame, and I coded it, and it works just like a J option pane. So you can pass it a string as a question. It takes input from the player. Um, and they can either hit the enter key or click on the OK button. And when they do, um, it takes whatever text I type and returns it to the calling function, just like a J option pane. So I call it fancy dialog, and I can just use the fancy dialog in place of a J option pane whenever I need to. But all of that was done with NetBeans, right? Code wise, um, you know, for the J applet, which is the splash screen, and this is a, starts out, it's embedded in a web page. You click on it, you play it online. Um, here is, you know, basically a, an instance of the interface JFrame. Okay, so it's sitting there, it's public, it's static, and then in this function main menu, we build it and we set the visible property to true. And this is just a boolean to figure out whether or not I've launched it. I use it with other JFrames to tell whether or not to close them or open them and things, and you know, try to prevent null values. Okay, so here's the, you know, event handler. In this case, it calls main menu when the launch button is performed. And when the quit button is performed, you know, again, if GUI is not equal to null, if we built it, then we'll get rid of that window and close it. So that's all that does. So then we jump over here to the interface. And if I look at the source, going through again, it's just a basic source there. And then as they walk around in the game and, and go to different locations, these are context sensitive. Um, if I go here to game functions and here, um, just playing around with some you know, different J option panes. And these are actual J option panes. And then I got tired of that, so I just finally figured what the heck, we'll just make our own J option pane. We'll make a fancy pane. And so that's what we did. The swing worker thread. And here we go. This just launches the opponent view J frame. Remember, that's this J frame down here. Again, design that in NetBeans. And all I had to do was just code it to, you know, Add the load code in there. Um, you look over here under the navigation pane and find. Uh, let's see. I'll show you the other J frame. Here's a function I wrote called find for picking up inventory items in the game, and you can just pass in the inventory item as a boolean, a string description, and it'll take care of you know keeping track of moving removing items from the environment once they've been found. And adding them to the player's inventory, but you know the player has a choice when they find an item: do they want to pick it up or do they want to leave it? It might be a trap or you know booby trapped or something. They might not necessarily want to pick it up. But, you know, it depends. Um, but that's you know so that's that's all this function is doing here. I call this function input pane, right? And it says, do you want to pick up the and we pass in the string description? Well, input pane is the fancy option pane that was made with NetBeans. takes question and it just builds that J frame right so 
Here's the fancy dialog. Again, just, you know. Um, I'm just trying to show off the capabilities of, of this graphical form designer. And this is also a, a, a signed applet um, because you can save the game files and you can save your, the character files that you build on the local machine. So if you, you know, it's on the web page, it's on networking programming. If you play it off the web page, you, you have to, it had to be signed with the JAR Center tool and a certificate to give it local permission to save to the file system. But it is, and if we run it, let's go here and here. And so this is a J applet that's a splash screen, and I'm just gonna run it from applet viewer inside of NetBeans. Use the set size, and here's the background. Player clicks launch, brings up the main J frame, sort of the main game screen here. Click start, go build an object. Um, Charles Germany, go mail. Wish I was that fast. Okay, and it's overloaded with key listener, multiple interfaces, so you can use the arrow keys and enter to navigate and move around, or you can also use the click with the mouse button an action listener, whatever. Here I put a tilde in, and this location activates the cheat, and come over here. And this is just an example of finding an inventory item, but I activated the cheats, I already have it. And then if I go there, that's the find function, okay? Or utilization of the find function. And if I go here, if I don't have the right key selected, it won't let me enter the room. But if I select the right key, and there's a little com female computer voice that narrates and tells you, blah, 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 you need the right key if you have narration turned on, but I don't, because it's annoying. It was a feature I added, and then I thought, yeah, that's just stupid, I don't want to, but, you know, whatever. You can do that with NetBeans, it's easy to add toolbars and all kinds of you know swing components to your J frames. So now with that key selected, I'm gonna go in and this will start a combat loop and it'll launch two J frames, one on the left and one on the right. One uses polygons and it's a little sort of arcade style defense pane and then the other one over here is your opponent just built with net beans. So this frame over here, I built the empty frame uh, you know just with code and notepad because it's, it's using draw polygon and a lot of graphics functions. But this one on the left was built with net beans. Alright, here we go. Oh, and I'm going to miss my defense. Oh, and I missed it. But if I turn around and I can shoot that, then I can, you know, I hit the defense there. Here it is running within uh, an embedded web page. And let me go. And again, it's it's a signed Java app that had to be signed with Jar Signer. So you have to confirm and click on OK because you're giving it permission to access the local file system. So you can save uh, character and game files to the local computer and load them. All right, and that's a safety feature by Java. So anyway, this is a J applet. Generate with NetBeans, I click on launch, it brings up the main J frame. And then I'm gonna start and play the theme music. Here we spell my name. Alright, and um, again, it's overloaded with key listener, so I can use the arrows or the mouse. I'm gonna do the cheat again. Come over here and I'll just bring up the other interfaces, select one here and this will bring up uh, 2J frames and this this one was sort of hand coded couldn't really use the form designer for it because it's just using draw polygon okay and I'm trying to dodge and then I turn around and, and then when I do that notice it did 100 points of damage to my opponent alright so that's sort of like a little extra defense there and then over here this is the opponent frame that was all generated with NetBeans I'm going to select the weapon here and let's see, alright, counterattacking. Why I think there's an attack window here, but if you don't hit it just the right time there, I got it, got it twice. Let's see the attack window. Eh, plenty of ammo there because I'm a cheat. Because I'd be worried about running out of ammo. Additional six points, and let's see, what was our total damage to our opponent? Alright, he's down to 184. We have 9,000. Yeah, I think we're good here. All right, we're lucky. We get the first attack. Let me see. Let me wait. No. Wait. No. It's a simple game. It's, uh, obviously, it's not like a first-person, uh, you know, 3D shooter or anything. But it's a it's something that you can create as you learn swing components. It's a fun way to learn how to use swing components in Java and to use NetBeans to design. You know, all these forms, all right, and then it closes both as different. All these forms were just designed with NetBeans, so that it wasn't really like a whole lot of work. All right, and then once I do, 
that little change sound. That's there's a guy over here, and again, the inspiration for him was the little guy with the Australian accent, and uh, <laughs> in, in Resident Evil, you know, what are you buying, stranger? That 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 guy. So that's him, and I just I can't. I guess I kind of ripped that idea off. So anyway, you walk over there, and this new, you know, this is the friend frame. All right, it pops up, Jay Freeman. There's a chat by here. You can chat with him, and you can say, you can say hello, and you can ask him what do you want. I desperately need to sell you good things. Good things, stranger. You know that kind of guy. Ask him what he wants. Um, you can tell him stuff. Um, I like you. I like you as well. He says. I love you. You are so sweet. Ooh, yeah. Um, I hate you. Why? What did I ever do to you? And he doesn't like profanity, so don't be offended. But if I were to enter profanity, there's no need to be a potty mouth or whatever. You can ask him what is his name. What is your name? Uh, my name is Johnny some shit, yada yada blah blah blah. Anyway, click this. Five frame pops up. So watch my money will get less and my ammo will increase. Uh, yeah, my here my gun ammo, so I'm gonna buy. Alright. I can also sell. Here's the sell frame, this pops up. And let's see, I'll scroll up here and watch my inventory. Here's my jackknife. My sword, my glock. What am I doing? I'm selling all my weapons. I must be crazy. Sell my armor and so forth. My inventory list gets shorter and shorter, but my money gets more. I behind that, and then I can close that and close that. Alright, there's a few other frames in the game, but you get the idea. Exhibit B is the RPG game Conspiracy. It uses swing components of a single J-applet interface. The interface was created with the NetBeans design view. So, just taking a look at another one. This is another interface that I did with uh, NetBeans. And let me go in here to my source packages and to interface. And this whole game is just one single, enormous, ginormous interface. And if I launch it, Alright, scroll over here, all these swing components were just added with NetBeans, okay? And there's no main, let me run this to Apple Viewer here, I'll get it to pop up. So no multiple J-frames or anything, but again, just, you know, trying to use a combination of, of uh, you know, swing components, uh, all of the swing components, you know, the ones prefixed with J, and then also just trying to learn something with like the graphics functions and things in Java, just draw a little map and stuff like that, and images and toolbars and whatnot. But the code's all posted on the website, so you can. I just wanted to show you that that you know these kind of interfaces are relatively easy to design with the tool, and also it is also a signed applet with the jar signer tool because again it enables the player to save and load character and game files on their local machine, so I had to sign it with jar signer. So you have to confirm and click on OK. It loads it. If if it weren't for that, then Java would block it. It wouldn't let you run this on a web page. It'd be a security violation. It has to confirm first that you give it permission to write to the file system. So here it is in the interface, and then I'll click start. And okay, and then um, what do I want to be in this case? Um, let's see. I'll be what do I want to be? FBI. Same thing. Building the character object. Um, I will be. Fox Mulder. Alright, and he will be a human. And let's see, let's grab an avatar image. I don't know, it's not Fox Mulder, but hey, whatever, we'll pick that. Okay, rolling dice for random stats and ratios. Okay, okay. Imagine what if all the conspiracy theories on the internet were true. And again, this game has nav buttons. You can go and you can look around on the map. It uses a grid, an array grid structure. It's a two-dimensional array, um, and it's also got over, you know, it's overloaded with key listener as well as action listener. So you can use the arrow buttons as well. And you can do different things inside the game and whatnot. Exhibit C is the adventure game Apocalyptic. It uses swing components of a single J-Applet interface. The interface was created with the NetBeans design view. In addition, um, in a couple other games, there's just another like RPG style interface game that was designed. Um, I think that was the interface class right there. Yeah, there you go. It's got the XML. And it just looks like here. Oh, let me bring it up in Applet Viewer here.
Let's run the file. All right, so there's another interface. Exhibit D is the card game Casino Angelique. It also uses swing components of the single J output interface and was created with the NetBeans design view. And here is a blackjack game right here. And all these are, you know, all the codes on the, I'll, maybe if I get the time one day, I'll break down these tutorials and go through the idea of making a card game or an RPG or an arcade game step by step. But as I get the time, I don't have the time right now. So I'm just giving you an overview of NetBeans. But all the code is posted on the website. So if, you know, if you like to read code, go and you can study the code and you can start working on these projects yourself and you'll learn a lot about Abstract Windows Toolkit and Swing Components in the process. Um, but here's the interface for the Blackjack game. All right. And... Welcome to Casino Angelique. All right, so here I am up here. Quick start. What amount will you wager? And I'll bet half my money. Do you want to hit? Or Come on, Angelina. Stay? Well, I think I should probably stay. What do you think? I think if I got ahead, I'd get, I'd bust. Oh, it appears you have won this round. How delightful! All right. So in this case, I got 150. Took it from the house. Deal. What bet. amount will you wager? Exhibit E is a simple, small application, a calculator, also using swing components and created with the NetBeans design view. You want to do a GUI graphical calculator? That's pretty easy to do with NetBeans. Here's the interface, just a bunch of J buttons and a, you know, a form there. Oops, I keep forgetting I need to run that through Apple because I haven't put code in main yet. But, all right, so here's my calculator, just a basic calculator. Um, and we will okay, and that's just you know, I don't know, I guess I was trying to emulate Microsoft's calculator so it just concatenates strings and then it'll convert the strings to integers and process them. But, you know, really easy to build the interface for that. And again, the code's on the website if you want to go through it. And I don't know if I did exactly what Microsoft did, and I'm, I'm sure if I actually put some effort into it, I'm sure there's a lot more I could do there, but it's a pretty simple project just to, you know, and the interface with NetBeans is really easy to design. Exhibit F is a simple J applet guess my number, created with, you guessed it, the NetBeans Design View tool. Here's a good, small, easy project to start out with if you're getting used to NetBeans and just, you know, managing graphics. It's a little guess, guess a number game. So it just has a couple of function calls and some decision structures here in the code. And you're just trying to guess a number. And if I were to run it, brings up this little applet here and these are all embedded in web pages on the website somewhere you can find them. Alright, and I can click on guess guess number from one to ten. Let's say I try five. You can choose a difficulty level, but numbers larger than that, I'll try seven. Numbers larger than that, let me try nine. Or in other words ten. Alright, well I didn't get that one. Created a new random number. Start in the middle, the number is smaller, go to three. That's it, I guessed it. Make it a new random number. Um oh I didn't should have had a number there, right? Number is larger, let's try seven. Game over, I lose, okay? This changes the range. When you click or check the level of difficulty, it just changes the range. Either between one and 10 or one and 100. Okay, and let's see, did that, did that, did that. Exhibit G is a simple J-applet trivia game. Also using swing components and created with design view. This was like a little trivial pursuit game. Just exercise learning to raise and strings, and again, a very, an interface that's pretty easy to design with NetBeans. This is the interface, it just has multiple choice and short answer questions. So I click start, starting new game, um, what does swing components start with? And then here's multiple choice, J swing, I could choose that. You answer correctly, click go to proceed to the next question, go, when did Java become an internet language? And in this case, I really click go to proceed to the next, all right, so, just to give you an idea, pretty fa fairly easy project to implement there. Exhibit H, a tournament game, unnatural selection, utilizing swing components and created with the NetBeans Design View tool. This was an exercise in multiple inheritance and interfaces, and we built an interface here. And NetBeans, it's kind of like a little Pokemon style tournament game, you know, Mad Science or whatever, where you can load different components. And...
I hope I've at least been able to whet your appetite for a great, open source, fun, free, integrated development environment tool. Go to netbeans.org and download your copy today.